Hello, my name is Tim Thomas. I'm an athletic trainer at United Regional, and I'd like to show you a few stretches today that you can do on your own. Be sure that you hold each stretch for 30 seconds and repeat on both sides. And don't stretch to the point of pain, just to the point of a good stretch. So we're gonna start off with the neck. First of all, take your right hand behind your back, and then you're gonna take your left hand and pull your ear to the side. This is stretching the upper trap area here. This is good for neck tension from straight at a computer monitor or a TV or looking on your tablet. Okay, the next stretch we're gonna do is the levator scapula stretch. And just rotate your head 45 degrees in one direction. And then you're gonna place your hand on the back side of your head and pull straight down towards your chest. This muscle is in the back of the neck. Real common for neck tension to alleviate that. This next stretch is for the chest. Um, all the muscles in the front here. Um, to do this is a doorway stretch, 90 degrees at the elbows and also 90 degrees at the torso. I'm going to have her lean forward and she will feel the stretch right across the front. Um, as, we, as we get older, we tend to, to slouch more and those muscles in the front get tight. So this is a good way to correct all that in the front here and get your shoulders back so that you can breathe better and can have more range of motion. Okay, then this next stretch is called a, a latissimus dorsi stretch. It's the muscle, the big muscle in the back that comes up to your arm here. To do this is another doorway stretch. You're gonna just put your arm right here and then lean back, trying to really rotate your shoulder blades forward and out. The stretch is, should be felt right through here. And again, holding this for 30 seconds at least and not to bounce on this and taking a deep breath and relaxing into the stretch. Okay, the next stretch we're gonna show you is the hamstring stretch. Hamstrings are on the back of the thigh. Um, one thing to remember is keeping your, your back straight and bending from the pelvis, from the hips. Don't worry about touching your toes. Okay, if you would, right there and then forward. And she will feel that stretch right in the back of the, on the back of the leg. Again, hold in for 30 seconds and do not bounce. The next stretch is the hip flexor stretch. The hip flexors are the muscle in the front of the thigh going from your pelvis down to your kneecap. On this stretch, I'm going to have uh, Cheryl lean forward with her hips. And it's good to do this on a soft surface so that you don't injure your kneecap or your knee while you're doing this. Notice she's keeping her, her chest up, back straight. That's exactly how you're supposed to do that. This next stretch is for the gastrocnemius, which is a calf muscle in the lower leg. It's in the bottom part right below the knee, right there. The best way to stretch this is against the wall or against a pole, uh, something sturdy that you can lean against. Uh, keeping the knee straight, bending the hips towards the wall, and she's gonna feel that right below her knee right there in that calf. Thanks for watching the video. Again, stretching is not just to be done before or after exercise, you can do stretching every day, especially when you're feeling tight or if you're stationary for a while and just need to get up and stretch a little bit. Some of these stretches will help decrease your stress uh, and increase your flexibility, of course, but also it just makes you feel good. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.